One day he was awfully troubled as he pulled into Vickerstown Station. He saw us the top of the hat. Sir? Yes, Percy? What's the matter? Well, you see, I've been thinking, um... Was there an engine who worked here called Jacob? No, why do you ask? The story of Jacob had been per playing on Percy's mind for a long time and he wanted to get to the bottom of it. Uh oh, um, no reason, sir. Right, okay. That's suspicious. Come on, tell me. So Percy told the Fat Controller all about Lucas's ghost story. Well, I do remember an engine who came to Baron Vaness called Jacob. Um, oh well, it doesn't matter, Percy. Anyway, off to work. Yes, sir. So Percy pulled the mail train into the station. Um, I left to do some shunting at Farquhar. He met Thomas up at Ellsbridge. Thomas? Yes, Percy. What's up? You seem troubled. Well, you see, I've been thinking. Remember Lucas's ghost story? What if it's real? Obviously, we both know that Jacob was a real engine. Obviously, we that was confirmed. The fact controllers just told me. But, wh what if the ghost part is true? Oh, please, Percy. You've been nipping at the Welsh coal again. Listen, ghost stories are there to give us a good scare over Halloween. That's the point of them. Well, yeah, yeah, but the guard blew his whistle. Thomas, we gotta get going, said his driver as he hopped in. His driver had gone to get a sandwich. Now, Percy, there are no such things as ghosts, all right? Deep down, Thomas was a bit upset, but he didn't want his friend to know. And Percy continued on his way. Then Percy met Gordon up at Natford. Gordon, what is it, little Percy? Well, I've been thinking. Oh, God, here we go. Another one of your epiphanies, no doubt. Yes, but this one's important. What if Lucas's ghost is real? He's said to appear around Halloween, and it's October now. Well, yes, it is near. It is October now. O what's the day today? Um, Gordon's driver checked his phone. October the 17th. See, two weeks until Halloween. Even if there were such a thing, he wouldn't appear for another two weeks. Well, yeah. Listen, Percy. We've both been on this island for nearly a hundred years. There is no such thing. We would have seen it by now. True. Just then the fat controller walked up. Right, you two. There's a new engine coming. He should literally be here any second now. Just then... A high-pitched whistle could be heard in the distance. Is that a southern engine? Yes. No arguments with him, please. Just then, a big green tender engine backed into the station. Hello there. I take it this is Nutford Station. Why, yes it is. You must be Archie, my new engine. Indeed I am. Sir Archibald Sinclair's the name. Well, that's a mouthful, said Gordon. Oh, pardon me. I've you must be Gordon Percy. I've heard much about your island. It's a very fine place. Oh, why thank you. That's nice of you. Well, I know we've got our differences. Obviously, I'm a great west. Obviously, you're a great western engine. You're LNER, and I'm southern. But that doesn't mean we can't get along. Wiser words were never spoken," said Percy. Indeed. Anyway. Archie is a new express engine on the line. Don't worry, he's not taking your express. He will be taking a new express between Croven's Gate and Vickers Town. Since your express bypasses Croven's Gate, we've got one that goes from Croven's Gate to Vickers Town. Very clever, sir, said Gordon. Indeed. Now, um, I must be off. Um, good grief. All right, look at the time. What do you mean? Surely I have a train tune out. No, you don't. Oh. Well, I mean, if you want to, you can double-head the express with Gordon. You know what? That's not a bad idea, sir, said Gordon. I can show him the line. Indeed. Now, the only problem is I don't have a front coupling, so I'll have to go in the front. 
Very well, I'll have to guide you, I suppose. Indeed. So Archie, back down onto the express. Right when you're ready, old boy. Ready when you are. The guard blew his whistle, and the two giants puffed away. Wow. Quite an engine, isn't he? Indeed he is, sir. I'm glad you like him. Now, I must be off. Things to do and all that, you know, got to run a railway. Indeed, sir. And the fat controller puffed, walked away. <sighs> no one believes me. Oh well, we'll see. I reckon he will appear, said Percy. As Percy puffed away. That night at Tidmouth Sheds, all the engines were just settling down. But Percy was still upset. You seem troubled, little Percy. What's the matter? Well, you, you see, Archie, sir. Please, just call me Archie. Sorry. But yeah, um, we were told Lucas, the police engine, told us the story about an engine called Jacob. What did you say his name was? Jacob. Was he an LMYR-28? Y yeah, he, he was. How do you know? I knew him well. We were good friends. Would you like to hear? All the engines murmured in agreement. Very well. And Archie began to tell his story. You see, it was in the time of the BR exchange trials. I was sent to work in the Midland region. I worked alongside a kind little engine named Joker. Quite a fine engine too. Very old, but very kind. We worked well together, but sadly, the branch line closed. It was unfortunate, but he was allocated to Barrow and Finesse. This was when the exchange trials were over, so I was sent back to the southern region. We worked very hard together, but all good things came to an end, I suppose. All the engines were very surprised. Yes, but... Did you know that he was killed? Killed? Yes, I heard. Two diesels got to him, apparently. A class 40 and a class 17. Anyway. Well, rumour has it. We know, we know, he appears on the viaduct. Yes, but here's the creepy thing. It's rumoured that he takes those who mock him, or that he knew well, thinking it was unfair. Really? Yes. You see, I was pulling an excursion in the Midland region, up near... I think it's called... Um, I can't remember, but anyway. A small town I stopped at. I believe, yes, Settle it was called. But then, something strange happened. There was a sudden drop in temperature. I was very frightened, but then he appeared right in front of me. Jacob. He stared at me sadistically. And then, in a demonic voice, said, Leave and never return. I was petrified. He then came onto my line and puffed towards me. He came inches from me, staring coldly, then disappeared, just like that. The engines were shocked. Good grief, said Percy. You must have been so scared, said Douglas. Indeed I was. Now, we should get some sleep. I'm quite chilled after telling you all that story. All the engines agreed in unison.